Today, this morning, I am going to talk to you about um, uh, a new container runtime and uh, something that we just announced, uh, uh, Kata containers. So, um, when you look at uh, when you look at the isolation spectrum, on the one hand, you have containers. On the, on the other end, uh, you have virtual machines. Containers are awesome. Containers are very, very fast, very simple, very easy to use, and, and they just like, you know, very, very easy to bring it up really quickly, get it down, run your app, whatever you want to do. Um, virtual machines are amazing in that they're very, very secure, and they're secured by hardware, and they can run a full operating system, and so on. The, the drawback to containers is that you have many, many containers typically running on one kernel. So if that one kernel is compromised, all of the containers that are running on, one kern on that one kernel are, 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 are basically compromised. Um, virtual machines, the drawback is that they're slow. So, uh, and you can't run some of the modern applications and cloud and native applications that you would want to run with that, you know, with that amount of, uh, with that, at that kind of speed. So, so you basically end up with making a choice, uh, speed versus security. And sure, you know, some people would just run a container on top of a VM, but, but not sure how much that, that would get you. And what we, what we really, really wanted was both speed and security. And this is a project, um, and when we started thinking about this, uh, a few Intel engineers about a couple of years ago started a project uh, that's called the Intel Clear Containers. And, and the objective of that, of that project was how do you make containers more secure? And, and the, the one thing that we ended up looking at really, really closely is how do you use the technology that made virtualization so secure, the virtualization technologies, whether it's an Intel VTX instructions and so on, to make, to, you know, in a container context without bringing in the drawbacks of being able, of, of running a full virtual machines. So, so uh, at the same time, this was a couple of years ago, at the same time, um, um, a, 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 another company, Hyper, uh, came up with a similar concept and they implemented it in a very, very similar way. A similar way, which, and that project was RunV, which effectively does the same thing. So yesterday we announced the, a new project, basically that merges both of these projects into one, and that is called the Kata Containers. So Kata Containers is basically a new uh, container runtime. It's a, it's a hardware-accelerated containers that uses virtualization technology, and it basically runs at the speed of containers, so you get that advantage. At the same time, it uses, under, in, in its underlying implementation, it uses virtualization technology that makes it far, far more secure than containers. But it, is, it, it does uh, 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 look and behaves like a container. So boot time is sub 100 millisecond, and it's very, very lightweight, and so on. And more importantly, it completely integrates with the container ecosystem. So it complies with the uh, 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 it complies with the uh, with the container runtime interfaces. Uh, uh, it is managed and looks and behaves, you know, and integrates really well with uh, with all the container ecosystem, whether Kubernetes and 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 all the orchestration and, and manage, management uh, uh, software that's that that is designed for containers. So it looks completely uh, uh, like a like a container. By the way, kata the word kata is is from Greek. Uh, that means trust. Um, uh, the project itself uh, is, a, is a completely independent open project with many supporters from the start, as you can see. Uh, but also, it's a, and it is hosted by the OpenStack Foundation. And, and, and one of the unique things that we are doing with this project is, is, is a slightly modified version of a governance uh, process that, that does not have any kind of a pay-for-play kind of governance or any kind of uh, boards and business boards and any of those things. And instead, it's only a technical steering group that is completely based on contributions. 
And, and what we're doing with that is, uh, and the initial, the initial technical steering, and that gets elected every six months, but the initial technical steering group, it's just a few of the key contributors and, 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 and people who are uh, working on the projects from, I think it's in, in a few engineers from Intel, Google, Huawei, and, uh, and Hyper. So uh, uh, also another thing about uh, Kata Containers is that it does support the multiple hypervisors, multiple architectures, and, and, and multiple and integrates with multiple software stacks, multiple software stacks like uh, like uh, Kubernetes, OpenStax, and, and so on. So um, get involved. We ask you to get involved. The work, the amount of work that it takes to do. I mean, uh, 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 Kata containers is not a simple one technology. It touches a lot of things. You know, uh, uh, many optimizations in QMU, many optimizations in, in the kernel, in System D, uh, and just to create to create a runtime that can behave like a container runtime. Um, so finally, I'd like to thank the uh, I'd like to thank the OpenStack Foundation for for bringing all of this together, and I would like to also thank the CNCF and the Linux Foundation for all the help that they gave us in, into integrating this into a larger ecosystem. Thank you very much, and have a good conference.